Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are gonna go through my festival bag essentials. So some of these things are things that I will take to every event. Some of these are ones that are more specific to certain events. So we're gonna go through all that. I'll tell you which ones are for what, um, but yeah. If you want to know what I put in my festival bag, what I think you guys should have in your festival bag, especially if this is your first time going to an event, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so first and foremost, you guys need earplugs. It is so, so important that you guys wear earplugs to every event and not just music festivals like big huge festivals or concerts like even club shows you guys should be wearing um, earplugs it's super important to protect your ears if you want to keep listening to music you have to protect your ears in the first place so these are ones that me and my boyfriend have which are from earpiece and I really like these. They're like really tiny little ear things and they have this little thing on the end. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it makes it really easy to like pull them in and out while you're at an event. Um, and they have these little things in the middle where you can like have more sound go in or block more sound out. So you can kind of customize how you like them, but there's two in here and it's super easy to just like stuff them in here. Like when you're not like at a stage, you can just take them out so you can hear the people around you. Um, and then just put them in and it comes with like a little hook. You can hook it onto like your backpack or the inside of a fanny pack. And it's super easy, they're great. Um, and they usually come with like a few of the ear things in case you lose one. So we'll usually take like an extra one with us just in case like at the event, in case like one pops out or something. Um, but for the most part, they stay in, they're pretty secure and I really like these. So yeah, definitely protect your ears. You don't wanna be like deaf by the time that you're like 25 or 26, you know? So definitely protect your ears. Pre-corona and even after corona, I'm still gonna be taking these with me to every single event. Um, and it is hand wipes and ass wipes. <laughs> Um, just because, you know, they run on toilet paper all the time, especially if it's like girls and boys, they like never have toilet paper, like ever. I feel like there's maybe been one, maybe two times that I've ever gone to like a festival. It's like a festival and they do not have freaking like any toilet paper whatsoever. So definitely take some ones that are like specific for your butt and use those because you never know. And then have yourself some like actual like hand sanitizer wipes or like hand sanitizing something. Um, this can be for like sanitizing the inside of the porta potty or actually just sanitizing your hands after. I don't know, you're gonna have to like check like all of their like guidelines and stuff festival to festival, but I'm not sure if they're going to let you take in like actual like liquid hand sanitizers. I kind of assumed they would, it just have to be like a closed new one every single time. So definitely um, one or the other. I like the wipes better just because you can actually like clean surfaces and clean your hands and it's less messy. It's, you know, it's pretty easy and whatever. It's 20 in a pack usually get through about that many at an event anyways you're like sharing them with friends and stuff so it's great I love these must have for me at every event I we personally like in our group to have a first aid kit on us at all times just because you never know like if something will happen like in the middle of a crowd or like what something that happens to me all the time <laughs> at an event is that people will like go by you and they kind of just like push and shove sometimes which you're not supposed to do don't do that shit but when it does happen sometimes like especially if you're wearing um fishnets people's backpacks or like stuff will get caught on there and then you're like scratched and you're like bleeding or something so you never know just take a little first aid kit with you have like everything in there um this one's like an actual one that's like you can just like pop it in and everything's like in there for you band-aids like alcohol swabs etc and then this one's one that we like put together ourselves but it just has like little things in there so you got bandages 
you've got like mini wet wipes which like who knows you don't really need that if you have like your own other wipes bigger band-aids and then there's usually like some Tylenol in here too or Advil um, and obviously like the ones that have like little packs where it's just like literally like two pills at a time like and those those are so much easier to like take it to a vent because they're sealed and like you know single use kind of thing so definitely take one of these with you especially like you never know really how far away a med tent is like definitely if it's something bigger or like you need to go to a med tent like there's always a med tent they're there for a reason they're there to help you whether it is like a cut or a scrape or something or if it's like actually something more serious definitely take advantage of the med tent it is there for a reason they're not going to get you in trouble all that jazz but it is always helpful to just have one on you you never know if something's gonna happen and you're like really far away from a med tent so I highly recommend having a small first aid kit on like one person in your group the next item on the list is going to be gum take a pack of gum with you whether it's like you know bad breath or other things you just kind of want to have a gum on you um, we kind of like taking this like really big pack in it's the 35 stick from extra um obviously like you'd have to take in a brand new pack every single day if it's a multi-day festival so just keep that in mind that like even if you get a 35 and you don't finish all 35 sticks in one night which is pretty hard unless you're like with a really big group you're gonna have to take in a brand new like sealed one every single night but definitely take gum with you they're great Again, I really like this one because it's easy to share and give to other people. Even if it's people who aren't in your group, it's always really good to have some because there's always somebody asking for gum somewhere. Always. The next one is kind of like a duh, but you know, a lot of people honestly I see don't be wearing backpacks at events and I find that kind of odd because <laughs> I'm like, girl, you need to stay hydrated. Like you want to look cute and shit but at the end of the day if you are dehydrated and passing out at the end of the night because you don't have any water because you didn't take like a hydration pack of some kind I don't need water water's for quitters I don't need it 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 what? was it really worth the like cuteness I don't think so Plus, like, there's so many cute backpacks at this point that, like, what's your excuse? That's just my two cents, my opinion. But obviously, I highly recommend having and investing in some kind of a hydration pack. Um, I have a few, so I'll show you. I have this, like, Osprey one, and I really, really like this one because it actually has, like, so back support in here I don't know if you guys can see this but it has like this mesh like back support and I freaking love that it I took this to EDC 2019 and it was amazing my back did not hurt like it used to when I would wear some um, I definitely think this is like definitely on the larger side um, it has multiple compartments and a huge thing for your water it also has um, a really convenient little like poncho for your backpack so if you're at an event and it starts raining that is great because then everything that you have inside your backpack isn't going to get all wet um but yeah it kind of depends on like who you are what you like to take to an event i've taken this one to an event i loved it it's great i had no issues with it and then i also have this one which is one that i've been loving like loving lately it doesn't have the back support in it but it's so lightweight like it's a running hydration pack and it's so lightweight that and it holds quite a bit honestly that it doesn't give me back issues like whatsoever so I really like this one this one's by Nathan it's just like a regular running pack it's got two compartments and the one for the water um, and it's great I freaking love this one it's got little like things in the front you can put your backpack or <laughs> backpack lol you can put your phone um you can also put like a fan or like have everything just like right at your disposal on the front so this one's great 
freaking love it super lightweight um, it literally honestly to me feels like I have like nothing on like it becomes part of me I don't know I really really love this and then obviously like everyone at this point has a lunchbox I don't have one yet um, I do really want one the only reason I haven't really done it is one I have so many backpacks that I'm just kind of like why do I need to buy another one but also because those ones like for real don't have any like back support in it kind of like this but it, they're they seem like they're a lot heavier than this this is literally paper light um so I don't know I've I guess that's one of the reasons I would love to know if, from people who have it like if they who have back problems okay if you don't have back problems then please don't tell me you love it and that I should get it if you have back problems tell me down below in the comments if the lunchbox it gives you enough support at like throughout the night like at a long festival I'm really curious like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted if it does um, then I would really like it I honestly really 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 love the fact that it has like it's anti theft like that is like a selling point for me again the only reason I haven't pulled the trigger is because I have other backpacks that provide me back support that I really love for festivals so let me know in the comments let me know you definitely should get yourself some electrolytes that you can put into your hydration pack it is going to help so much especially because you're just dancing and sweating for literally hours like EDC for example you're there from 6 a 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. if you stay the entire time that's a long time you need electrolytes to get you through the night like you really do so I personally like I this one's one that I've been starting to try and um, off festival season but I've been trying and I really really like this one it's liquid IV uh, one stick is equivalent to three bottles of water uh, which is great amazing I like this one too this is in passion fruit flavor another reason why I like these is they're little individual they're little individual like powder things so they're sealed you can take this in really easily with your um, hydration pack and stuff into a festival you shouldn't have any issues with it and you just like drop it in I like this better because it's already a powder so I feel like it dissolves a lot faster than something like this which is more of like an actual like tablet and these kind of get chalky and sticky I feel so I don't really like these but this is an alternative to these but yeah, you have two. I highly recommend putting in electrolytes into your hydration pack. It will help a lot. And then you're going to want deodorant. Obviously, this is kind of like another one where it's more of like a maybe before. If you're somebody that does need to reapply, I would you'd have to buy three sealed ones, which is kind of a lot. If you buy a locker, then you take in a brand new sealed one the first night and then you can keep it in the in the locker overnight for the next few nights of the festival if it's multi-day, multi but definitely take yourself some deodorant. I don't know if you guys remember, I don't know what his name is, but there was like this EDM guy that kind of went viral on like, I don't know if it was Vine or like Instagram or something at the time, but he was like going around and like putting deodorant on everyone that like didn't have deodorant on. love that it's very true we're all really close and sweaty like just put on some deodorant no one wants to smell that shit no one wants to smell that shit that's nasty and then um obviously right now most festivals are requiring that you wear a mask so whatever floats your boat you know you got a mask mask that you have loops around you've got the ones that are like a scarf that you can tie around or you have the ones that go over like you know I forget what these are called but it's kind of you put it over your head and then you can bring it up and put it down um, but even when it's like normal times I would still take a mask with me I was mostly one who would wear one of these with me um, and it's just nice especially because there's usually a lot of dust at a lot of festivals that gets kicked up and around um, if you're somebody who, who's like me or 
just like in general has like allergies like all year round also gets you know comes in really handy so definitely take a mask for all my girls and guys you guys need to take a pashmina with you okay some are thicker than others this one's one of my thicker ones and I really love it but they really do help at keeping you warm like once the Sun goes down and it's like you know midnight it gets a little chilly especially when you're not like in the crowd there's it's usually a little windy it's usually a little cold you know if you're like me you'd be wearing those thong bottoms and just like you know pasties or something you're gonna want one of these to wrap yourself in so that you aren't as cold at night or especially when you're going to like stand at like a shuttle or get an uber or walk back to your car even these are gonna be life-saving I love pashminas like oh it's great you kind of wrap yourself in it's like a little blanket <laughs> when you can't take a blanket take a pashmina it's the next best thing and then I would also take a beanie, honestly, because this isn't doesn't take up much room in your backpack. Um, but you lose a lot of heat from the top of your head, so these come in really, really help, really, really handy. Um, and it, especially like towards the end of the night or the, at the end of the night, it just helps provide you a little bit more warmth, especially if you're not taking a jacket or a coat or anything like that with you. Um, this one is one that I got from I think it was So Butterfly Clothing. Um, it's got little Zed's dead in with the like uh, like an LV design, but anyways, love these two together. They are life saving. They don't weigh very much. They usually fit in your backpack. It's great. Sunglasses. So it's kind of whatever floats your boat. Honestly, you can have ones if you're somebody like me who will get a headache towards the end of the night from staring at all the lights for so long then maybe you'll want something like this where they're like actual sunglasses or you can have like these which these still do something like they're not they they help a little bit so I would do these as well it's kind of up to you whatever floats your boat I just think that you should have sunglasses whether that's sunny or not so I take a chapstick with me every time you of course have to like bring in a sealed one every time unless you get a locker or you know you do whatever you gotta do to get it in for the other two nights but that's not uh -uh. I'm not telling you how to or what but that's not my business I just think that you should take a chapstick with you because your lips are going to be chapped especially if you're going to something like Coachella where you're in like the desert or like EDC in the desert like your lips get chapped girl so take that with you this is more of something that like is something that I would do beforehand not necessarily like in my festival bag take it in with me but I like to do CBD and rub it all over myself okay rub it all over my legs rub it all over the back of my neck my shoulders you have no idea how sore and like just like tired you get from like standing at a stage and especially if you have to like look up or just like having your backpack on all day dancing all night you're getting sore so just CBD really helps me personally obviously if you're like a anti-marijuana person I don't understand but that's fine none of my business <laughs> um, I just personally like CBD I think it really helps with muscle soreness and stiffness um, and so I literally rub this head to toe into the event and then when I get back home or back to the hotel and I take a shower then I relather myself in it and it is amazing life-changing I promise I would take a fan definitely take a fan with you whether it is one like this where it is like a manual fan or I have one I can't seem to find where the like actual thing is but I have one that like connects to my this battery pack that I have and that one is great for when you're just in the middle of the crowd and it's like it's a little crowded it's great because you can just turn it on it doesn't like get stuck on anything I've even seen ones where like you can wear it as like a necklace and those help as well so the other <laughs> essential that I bring with me into every festival is a battery pack so I really like this one I got it off of Amazon I'll see if I can try to find it and I'll link it down below if I do um, but this one is basically has it can charge like 
your phone literally four times it's amazing but these are great definitely have these with you especially like if you're using your phone a lot taking a lot of videos photos all that jazz you're gonna want one of these and like I said this one doubles into like a fan that you just like click on here and that's also amazing so definitely invest in a battery pack of some kind it comes in really handy this is more of like a depending on where you're going for the event like something like red rocks for example it still rains in like may june july like it will still rain even though it's sunny and 80 and humid ish <laughs> um it will rain so definitely take a poncho with you to events where that is likely to happen like i even heard i think was it like the first night of ubw like rained or something so that's an instance where a poncho is something that is essential to put in your backpack um this one's a bigger one that i have that i bought that also fits in like my bigger backpack but i know there's a lot smaller ones than these even ones that are just like a one-time use poncho those are great because they don't take up very much room in your backpack but I would just honestly, like for almost every event, I would just pack a poncho just in case because you never know, Mother Nature has a mind of her own. She will do whatever the she wants. So I would say bring a poncho to you to like every event, just have one in there. Um, bring yourself an extra pair of socks. You are in your shoes the entire night. Also, you never know, again, if it starts raining and your feet are all wet, then you have a nice pair of dry socks as well. Um, but also just, you know, if you start to get a blister or something like that, it's always nice to just have another pair of socks with you. So definitely do that. Um, if you're somebody who wears Doc Martens, a lot of people know that those give you blisters. They're so hard to break in. So definitely don't wear a brand new pair of Doc Martens to your first festival back break them in first but even then you can still get blisters so I highly suggest investing in the Doc Martin socks they're great they really are amazing they help a lot but another thing this is my like hack <laughs> are these little half like silicone things and they're heel like literally heel savers and they kind of double as like an insole because they're kind of squishy on the bottom um, but definitely get yourself some of these. I got like a pack of four or five or something off of Amazon for a couple bucks. But these really do work. You put them on underneath your sock or, yeah, underneath your sock. I don't think it really works over your sock. Um, but definitely get yourself some of these. This is life changing, okay? Life changing. You need this in your life. You need these in your life life okay and i'm pretty sure you can wear these even if you're not wearing doc martens you can wear these with another pair of shoes that you maybe sometimes will get a blister in um but definitely get yourself some of these i personally don't think that the blister band-aids work or like band-aids either if you get a blister so just like you know try to avoid a blister at all costs by doing something like this these are amazing and it's not like your your whole foot is in silicone it's just your heel so these are great, definitely invest in those. And then the last few items that I have for you guys are kind of like, I don't know, if it's your first time at an event, then maybe this isn't as like, duh. <laughs> for me, it's kind of duh at this point, but when I first started going to events, I didn't really understand like what was going on with a lot of things, but I would definitely spend some time, especially if this is your first event, to make some kind of candy now it doesn't have to be cuffs it can be literally like single things um, but definitely take yourself some candy you're gonna want to trade with people people are gonna want to trade with you it's just kind of a part of like music festival life um, this is my like fanny pack that I usually take with me and this is like my collection of ones that have been given to me and I've or I've traded for um, but yeah just make some candy make some single ones people are gonna want to trade people want to trade and it's just it's fun it's a lot of fun that and or perlers as well whatever kind of floats your boat perlers or candy bracelets but definitely take them with you take some that you want to trade with the other people those and then the final thing 
that I'm going to say, and this is again something that I wouldn't necessarily take into the festival with me, it's more of like an after thing, but it's vitamins. Take your vitamins. Multi-day vitamin, vitamin C, if you're doing other things, take other vitamins, look that stuff up, figure it out. But definitely take your vitamins, it can be B12 I think, there's like magnesium, but figure all that stuff out, don't just like take them all at once, um, definitely figure out what things you can take at what times and all that, um, but definitely take your vitamins before, after. I'm somebody who usually takes a multivitamin in the morning the day after, and then when I get back to the hotel I'll have vitamin C and before I leave for the event I'll have a vitamin C and then I'll have other vitamins as well but it really does depend on what it is that you're doing but anyways that is all that I have for you guys today on what my festival essentials are to have with me at the event and then a few things that are like before or after the event but these are things that I definitely think that you guys should invest in they are 100% worth it anything to make yourself more comfortable and not like you know hate yourself for not taking something to an event is great um, but yeah leave me a comment down below let me know if I missed anything um, let me know if there's something that you think is essential um, that I should know about and that I need in my life um, but yeah let me know down below in the comments share this with a friend thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video bye